Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzly Outdoors. I just got finished up with a really big order, a uh, custom order, so I figured I'd show you some of the sheets quick. Um, there was 11 sheets in this order, all customs. This is the uh, Survive Knife GSO-10. Beautiful knife. Um, <clears throat> wouldn't mind getting one of these in shop to actually make sheets for. Uh, it was really nice. I love this CPM 3B steel. I've got this on a couple knives. It works really nice. A nice retention. Got the thumb strap, a removable D-ring. Uh, this D-ring does flip down. It's handy for sticking in your pack and stuff. Got the small Altoids tin, the Topps tie bow knife on here. And fire steel, milled slots. This is a Cryptek Typhoon. I've been doing a lot of Cryptek Typhoon with the black back. The drain hole in the bottom. This turned out really nice. Um, I love this Cryptek stuff. It's really doing good. So let me get the next one. This is the uh, top or the uh, survive GSO 10 so next one in Cryptek Typhoon did quite a few of them this has again the Tybo on top or Tebow however you pronounce it this is a uh, Bark River Bravo uh, 1.5 Bravo uh, Bark River makes some really good knives been doing quite a few of these again the removal strap same thing folds down Pretty much the same setup without the tin, just a little bit smaller. <coughs> this one's a little bit different. Again, this is a uh, Bark River, uh, Wolf River Skinner. This is kind of cool. Got a nice belly to it for skinning. Nice retention. I've got the fire steel on the front this time, kind of an angled front thumb ramp. And this has a offset platform. Uh, this is our smaller offset platform, attached with two holes. And this has the nylon belt loop. This is scuba webbing nylon. So it's a lot heavier duty. This is the one inch and a half, uh, 1.5. So you get a nice little uh, little package on your belt. Again, I tape the blades up really good so you don't you get very minimal blade rub. So you don't dull the blade and try to get a good retention on it. No wobble or anything. So that's that one. another Bark River. This is the Aurora. This will be a nice little uh, bushcraft knife. And we got a fold over style sheath. Fire steel on the side. Again, an offset platform with the nylon loop. Turned out really good. Got the Benchmade Bone Collector. Again, another fold over with just a this is a molded in belt loop, the no offset platform. A little bit of a thumb ramp here. A nice little hunting knife. We did a couple of the uh, Bark River fillet knives. This one is the um, fold over style with an offset platform. Again, the nylon belt loop. It's a beautiful fillet knife. Again, Barker just makes some amazing stuff. Uh, this is the uh, Desert Fox color with black accessories. Get in the camera frame here. Uh, I did do a second one for this knife. Um, in a uh, carbon fiber with black. That turned out really nice as well. See if they'll stay there. Probably won't stay there. And did some neck sheaths modified to the belt. So this tech lock is for vertical carry or it can be flipped around for kind of front appendix carry. It's another Bark River. This has CPM 20 CV on it for steel. This one is the Bark River Adventure. Pretty cool little knife. So we've got our extreme style modified. It's got the uh, iNova micro light in it. Uh, no uh, sharpener. Got the 516 Ranger steels. And this is black Cryptek with black top. And this one uh, is another Bark River. 
This is the uh, Cryptek Mandrake with, um, I believe this one is Storm Gray over the top. Honey, honey. Yep. How's it going? Good. Thank you. Thanks, have a good one. You huh? too. Locked <laughs> myself in. The wrong side, yep. <laughs> Sorry about that, FedEx guy. Um, again, another I, I know micro light, Cryptek Mandrake. Again, this is Storm Gray top color. Same setup as the other. It's a neck sheath modified for a tech lock. And then another, um, this is a Tops. Again, same setup. This is the Urban Camo with uh, Gunmetal Gray. A whole pile of them here. I think that's pretty much it for knives. Oh, one more. This is pretty much a simple one. A lot of them had the camos. It's just an OD green. Again, with the nylon belt loop offset platform. Milled slots on this one. Again, drain hole. Another, another nice uh, Bark River knife. So thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick video of uh, one of the big orders here. Have a good afternoon. If you're interested in getting a custom sheath made, go to grizzly-outdoors.com. You can also check out a lot of our current stuff on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, have a good afternoon.